-hmm. Are you more into acting or directing? Back in the days, I would say acting, even though I've always been a terrible actor. <laughs> um, but nowadays, I would say directing, but I do love acting. And I've been... I just, I've been studying a lot more watching people's acting skills, like just watching certain things just to watch an actor and what he does and just trying to get more into that mindset um, of an actor, you know, and starting to seeing what's wrong, what I do wrong or not necessarily that I do wrong because everybody has per se acting style and my content is more exaggerated so the way that i act is an exaggerated version which works but, for social media which works for social media but at the same time i have to know these tools and be being able to do it consciously you know because what i what i see happening is when i gotta take on a different role where i'm playing more serious I'm still committing some of the same mistakes or I'm, I'm still committing some of the things or doing some of the things that I would do in exaggerated acting. And I don't realize it because I'm not conscious of it, you know? Mm. Yeah. So what do you, what do you plan on changing about your acting? Well, I, I just ordered this book on Amazon for acting, which is uh, pretty good. And I'm gonna start reading that. Um, I definitely am going to do more, auditions and stuff like that mm -hmm. um and as far as my acting itself not all sketches if it calls on it then i will but what one of the things that i realized is i go crazy with my eyebrows you know like going like that like yo what are you talking about did you notice you know? that or did someone else point that out somebody else pointed it out mm. okay somebody else pointed it out and then I went back and I was like, oh, shit. And this the person that pointed it out is an extremely gifted actor. Like personally that I know the best actress I've ever met. Actress, actor, doesn't matter. Mm. So she was giving me a lot of pointers and telling me what I needed to do as far as getting better. And then I started watching certain videos online and just seeing kind of what what you gotta what beginner actors do wrong you know yeah a lot of movement in the head and stuff like that you have to know that when you're getting that double your head isn't supposed to move a lot you got to be able to give a lot of emotions without moving so much you know it, it's all within right here and really one of the main things that I think I struggled with as far as my characters and in acting is I never gave my characters thoughts. What do you mean? What I feel like mean a lot that? of, I feel like a lot of times I'm reading lines. Mm. It's not about, you have to know your lines. Don't get it twisted. You know, there's, there's memorization type of things that you can do, um, which I started learning too, which is pretty cool. But um, as far as having thoughts, you have to be thinking as the character, like, why are you saying this line? Be in that moment, you know, like, if your character doesn't want coffee, why doesn't they want coffee? Do, do they just don't like coffee? They never like coffee? Or do they just don't want coffee right now because they're feeling sick? You know, it's like having these thoughts as the character. I never really put myself, I have, but it's very rare. And it's specific things that I've done. Usually never my own content. Mm. True. But I want to be able to do that consistently and consciously. Yeah. You know? So the the whole eyebrow character. thing is, is bad to do? It's not that it's bad to do. I overdo it. You got to do it in certain moments. You don't speak like this all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, you do move it a lot. Now that I'm, I move it a lot. That. I move it a lot. Because <laughs> even on your it's Instagram specific stories, times. And shit, sometimes you'd be doing that. Yeah, a hundred percent. I, I act as a character on my Instagram story, but it, it's this is the only piece of content that 
you're actually yourself. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I mean, it is what it is, but even, even here, I'm not really myself because we were talking about this earlier this week where you turn on a camera, you know, somebody's watching you, you act like a, a little bit of a different version. That's so true. I want to apologize to the audience. Cause I'm trying to, to unlayer that, that onion and get to the center. It's going to take some time and I'm, I'm trying to get better at it. You know, I'm trying to be more honest because yeah. a lot of times I feel like we don't want to say certain things because we're scared of the whole cancel culture that's going on and stuff like that. But I, but even I don't want to be that even way. Even before like, all that, like before, like just knowing that there's a camera recording you already puts this persona up, you know? Right. It's not right. like it's, I don't know. It's just kind of like, it might be subtle, yeah, but, but it's still like something, it's still you kind of being different because you know, someone's watching. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, is like when we're sitting down and literally being ourselves and having a conversation, you're still giving a different persona of yourself because you're getting a different version of me right now. You're getting like an authentic just, hey, let's talk version as opposed to you're vlogging and you point the camera at me. I'm going to play an exaggerated version of myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're not going to get the. Go ahead. Mm. No, I think it also varies from like person to person too, because when you're speaking to your mom versus when you're speaking to me versus when you're speaking to someone else, you're acting differently yes. between those people. So it's not like you're being yourself 100% for all these people, you know, like around my right. uncle and my aunt, I'm a, I'm a different type of person than I am with my friends, you know, or yeah. around my grandma, I'm different than I am with my girlfriend so it's like it's right. a completely different version of me yeah but no I, I agree with that i don't know i definitely agree with that so yeah it, definitely... it's almost like it, it's funny because everybody has that you know and, and i feel like yeah. even within ourselves we have different versions like sometimes you just feel happy sometimes you feel sad sometimes you feel like a kid. I feel like a kid a lot. I'm a very big kid, I think. You know, I love watching cartoons for certain things. Yeah. I love just being wild and having fun and just doing the most kiddish things, playing games, playing sports. I feel like that's the kid in me that I feed on a constant basis. And I feel like it's important. I feel like we all have those. Like we have these different personalities inside of us. Mm -hmm. that just need those different things you know sometimes i feel like a fucking like there i don't know like sometimes i just feel like you fucking puff your chest out you're like at the gym you're fucking working out and like i'm the fuck oh shit you're like i'm the fucking shit ain't nobody touching me you know what i mean like you just have that feeling and then Sometimes you feel like you're fucking low life and you're a piece of shit and you're lazy because you decided to watch a movie instead of edit something or get some work done, yeah. you know? Right. There's so many different things bottled up inside a human. But do you think like when you wake up with that type of mood, like you don't feel like doing anything, you just feel down, do you feel like it's harder to like... Like, like, pretend that you scheduled a shoot, you know, for you to act or for you to post a uh, film a vlog or whatever. Like, can you, like, turn that energy on even if you're down? I could pretend for a certain amount of time. Like, what's the time limit? Uh, and the thing is, is, like, I could pretend if I'm not that intimate with you. If I'm intimate with you, like, you would know if I'm not having a, a good day. Mm -hmm. You would know. You know me too well. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like you, I, I know when you're not having a good day, even just by, like, your tonality or just, like, by certain things that you say or just how you are. Like, I know. Yeah. And same thing. You would know, like, if I'm not having it or if I'm just... You know that if I'm more quiet, I'm just different that day. Right. Because usually sure. I, I'm not that quiet. Yeah. Yeah. 